Hi, and welcome to episode 39 of China Tools, a series of videos where I put woodworking tools from China to the test. And because it's the 11th of the 11th, it's a special episode. Hello again, my name is Dennis and I am from Hooked on Wood. What we know as Black Friday, Double Eleven is the biggest sales event in China. So those who follow my series know that on the Double Eleven, I always change my format a bit because they inform me about prices and I know it will not get any better the rest of the year. So at Double Eleven, I put more weight on the price, which I usually do not do. So in this episode, I want to show you these set of bars from uh, Fonson. But I also want to show you the three China tools I use the most, but also the three I am most impressed with. And I want to start with the three China tools that impressed me the most from all the products I reviewed over almost three years now. And my number one is this doweling jig. And what I like the most about this is the original design. But not only that, it's the best still affordable doweling jig you can get for a cabinet making. It works so easily, accurately and fast that I do not know better alternatives. And I have a Festool Domino, which is more diverse, and from that perspective you cannot compare them to each other. But for cabinet making, it's hard to beat this dowling jig in terms of ease of use and speed. And it's not a cheap dowling jig, but this is good because all the money is spent to deliver a high quality product. This product will last because from a quality perspective, it will not become any better. It's a complete kit, and combined with this multi row plunger, it's a must have when you regularly make cabinets. And if you want to know more about this product, Please take the time to watch episode 27. Here I will show you why it is such a fantastic tool. It is on sale now for $84 and the multi row punch is $54. And not only are they worth every penny, but I'm also sure this product will only become more expensive in the future. Second, without a doubt, this edge trimmer. And one of the reasons is the original design, which is a significant improvement over alternatives. And this is also a product that shows there are high quality, well engineered and designed products from China. And I'm particularly impressed by how well they made this product. It's such a beauty and it comes well packed in a hard case box. And even if I tear it apart, all the components are so well made and finished that it's almost a shame you cannot see it from the outside. And if there is a downside to this product, it is that you can only use it for edge trimming, which is somewhat limited. But it does that pretty well. And it is so clever that they use these uh, knives that you can turn four times. And as long as you keep the grain direction in mind, the results are very nice. You can make a bevel or a round side, and with the scale, it is uh, easy to make these edges all the same. Again, an imposing product, and when you want to know more about it, watch episode 28, because I think you will love it. They sell it now during double 11 for $65, and I don't know how this is in the rest of the world, but for Europe, this includes tax and shipping costs, which makes it a fantastic product for the price. As I told you before, the Double Eleven Festival is the best time of the year to buy products from Banggood. And on my site you can see a ranking of all products I tested, and I invest a lot of time with each product to give a well-balanced opinion. All the products have direct links, which can be a good guide for your Christmas shopping. And at last I want to name the last generation lasers I tested from Atmostack and Enjoywood. And this is mainly because the developments in diode lasers have been so huge and we probably take it for granted, but we went from a 5 watt laser to a 20 watt laser in less than two years. And uh, with this development, the possibilities of what you can do with a laser has significantly improved. And these 10 and 20 watt lasers are actually capable of cutting wood. And when you can make such precise templates, it can enhance what you can do as a woodworker. Packages of these 20 watt lasers includes air support. And when I compared the design of the air pumps against the aquarium air pumps we are used to, they redesigned it from the bottom and made it the best air pumps you can have for laser engravers. And of course, these products cost some money. 
But now with the double eleven vesicle, the 10 watt version starts at $359 and the Enjoy with 20 watt version is on sale for $890. And that is the first time I see them under $900. These setup bars from Fonson look awesome. And if you get used to work with these products, you will love them. And two years ago, I bought these setup blocks as a reference for review purposes. And I initially thought they were not intended for woodworkers. And they probably are. But I use them quite often. And when you are used to work with them, you will love them. And I deliberately say used to work with them because when you do not have these setup blocks, you do things they can do in other ways, which probably works fine. But I prefer to use setup blocks instead of the alternatives because it's easy to work with and more accurate. And I use them mainly to set up my uh, tools. And the thing is that your fingertips are so sensitive they can feel the slightest deviation. And that makes setting up your router or table saw very easy and fast. And if you want to set up your router to make a groove for a mile track, for example, you can use the mile track itself to set up the depth. But if you want it to be a bit sunken in your tabletop, with these setup blocks you can easily control how deep you want them. And it is so much more convenient to measure and transport these measurements to your router or any other tool. The only drawback I could find for these setup blocks is that they are small. And sometimes I prefer to have it just a bit bigger. Well, that's what we have here. Bigger setup blocks. So I'm used to work with my setup blocks and I prefer to use them over alternatives. So with that in mind, what do I think about this setup? At first I want to check the accuracy, and some are perfect, but most have a slight deviation between 1 and 3 hundredths of a millimeter. So is that a bad thing? We must realize that almost all equipment we buy has some tolerances, and even costly tools from famous brands have tolerances of 3 hundredths of a millimeter or 1 thousandth of an inch. I have the same set from Veritas, which costs almost twice the price, and also consists of 9 pieces. And according to Veritas, there is a tolerance of 5 hundredths of a millimeter. And although the steel piece is perfect, the other parts have even more than 500 of a millimeter deviation. And especially according to the price and reputation of Veritas, this was a bit of a disappointment for me. And I tend to say I do not like that these products have some deviation, even if just a few hundreds of a millimeter and within tolerances. And perhaps you feel about this the same. On the other side, I am very proud of my digital stop lock for my Madison. And I showed it in my last uh, workshop video, and I named it very accurately, which is how I think about it. This is an accurate miter stop, but although it can measure to 100 of a millimeter, I just set it to 1 tenth of a millimeter. But this also means that if I set it to 100.0 millimeter, it could be 100.03. And I take that for granted without any hard feelings. So these setup blocks have the same or even fewer deviations, and I should feel the same about them. They are still accurate setup blocks for the woodworking, and the deviation is within the tolerances of every well known brand. Packaging is perfect, and the setup blocks are well organized in a nice box. And I like the size of these setup blocks, and the fit and finish are also at a high level. There are only two things that bother me. First is that this set is too small for my taste. You can create any size from 1 mm to over 100 mm by stacking them on top of each other. But of course that is less convenient than if you have fixed blocks of this size. But the increment versions have larger sets, so when that applies to you, you should look at them because it is a lovely set when they fit your needs. And from a price point of view, these are very interesting products at this moment. My biggest problem however is that it does not have an open 5 mm button. And perhaps you could say that this is not necessary for woodworking, and when you think about it this way, and the size fits you, this is a nice product, and I can recommend it. The regular price is around $45, and now with the double eleven Festival, it starts at $29, which is a very nice price for what you get. But for me, the reason why I love this set of block set so much, I cannot do with this uh, Fonson set, making it a bit limited in use. And that's why I cannot rate it what it probably deserves, based on the quality of the product. And this, this is my school one card. Okay, I compared the Fonson set with this set, and I really love this set. It consists of uh, 38 pieces, and okay, they got very small in size, but I even use them occasionally. I wanted to cut a piece of black MDF as a slider for this uh, miter track. And it's easy to find the right fit with these setup bars. 
And when you transport this to your MITRE style, you just get these measurements. So that works very straightforward. When I have to measure how deep I have to make a groove, of course I can do this with a caliper. But again, doing this with your cellar box and transport these measurements to a router makes it very accurate. And if you want to make a groove, you can use a curve maker to set up your miter saw or table saw. But you can also use these setup blocks to compensate for the curve of your saw blade. Again, I think it's easier and you do not need a curve maker and you have a much bigger capacity than with a curve maker. And these are only some examples of why I love these setup blocks so much and why I also find even the tennis setup blocks useful. These are all great setup blocks, which means lab quality. So instead of measuring if your setup blocks are correct in size, you can check if your caliper or other equipment gives the right measurements. So accurate are these. And during the 11 festival, they sell them temporary for only $69 which is not only cheaper than this uh, terrible nine-piece Verita set, but it's also unbelievable to deliver such a complete and accurate set for that price. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. And I'm currently building a new router table to replace my former one. Get up, now I ain't a quitter. And it took me some time to decide which router list I would place in my router table. But I decided to place my good old Inca router lift again. But I got a new router, and that is this Alp Tools router lift. I'm very excited about that. And the reason is that it has a dial to set the speed settings. And that means when I place it in a uh, dust extraction box, I can change the speed settings from outside that box. And I'm uh, very thrilled to see how that works in practice. Anyway, that was a quick update about the router I choose for my new workbench. And of course, I will return to this workbench build and shop tour in a future video. But you also saw my former workshop is pretty close by. And because of that, I moved over slowly. When I needed a specific tool, I grabbed it from my former workshop and I stored it in my new workshop. And this way, it became easy to see which tools I needed the most or the soonest. And these are the China tools I needed right away. First are my rulers, and although I do have many, there are a few that I cannot live without. And most important are these T-rulers, which are so accurate and pleasant to work with. And although I have three sizes, especially the smaller one, I use the most. They have an accuracy of 0.25 mm, which is impressive. And although they have such a high resolution, the layout remains clear. And what I like about this Renew ruler over that of Inkra, which looks similar, are these longer elongated holes. And with this, it is easier to lay it over a line and add uh, cross points. With the Inkra, these elongated holes are much shorter, making it harder to find the line in the first place and add clear cross points in the second. And I reviewed them in episode 4, rated it 5 stars, and now with the W11 Versital, it just costs $16. And I think it's a must-have tool. The second tool I could not live without are these bigger T-rulers from Vico. And I like them especially as a set. And the fact is that you could use the biggest version for all your measurements and markers. But it is especially convenient when you can get the size that is more suitable for the job. And I like these T-rulers in every way. They are good, readable and perfectly square. And the holes are 1mm, so also on wood with more grain, you can use it with a 1mm pencil. I made a nice stand for it, so they do not ask for that much space, but are well organized and easy to grab. And these are the China tools I probably use the most. And the price of the double 11 Festival starts at around $25 for the smallest version and $50 for the larger one. And I rated them 5 stars and I think they are well worth the money and I can still highly recommend them. Another China tool that I needed right away were these uh, doco clamps. And because I made my workbench top from two layers of 80mm material, I could not use my real guide clamps to hold down my pieces. So I had to rely on these clamps instead. 
And I knew when I made this workbench that it was temporary because I wanted to test some things before I decided what my final workbench would look like. And one of these things was how these hold down clamps would hold over time. I'm currently busy building my final workbench to replace my former one. And as you can see, it still does have two sheets of material as a top. And this has two reasons. Two sheets give better absorption for vibrations, for example, during sanding. And these clamps were great and I love them. And I rated them four and a half stars and with double 11, they cost less than $15. They have a pretty long reach and can clamp 50 kilograms, which is quite a lot. And are simply the fast and most convenient clamps to work with. But I have to say that these clamps work best with thicker tabletops. By using a tabletop of 22 millimeters and below, I can highly recommend these uh, rail guide clamps from Vico. For $35 for a set of two, they offer excellent value. And I still use them, but not so regularly as with my former workbench. But I have used them for almost two years now. I do have eight of them and they still work perfectly. And the biggest strength is the enormous clamping force of well over 100 kg without any effort. And for those with dog holes in their workbench and a tabletop below 22 millimeters, you will love these clamps. Well, that was my double 11 edition of China Tools. It's way too commercial for my taste, but as I said, I do this once a year during double 11 because this is the best moment to buy. That does not mean I overrated the products I showed you. I reviewed most of these tools of the last three years and made my opinion well balanced. And I invest a lot of time with each product to come to this opinion. Thank you for watching. Have fun shopping. It's a nice time of the year to spoil yourself a little bit and do some Christmas shopping. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself and we'll we see each other next time.